Barakatay Yahweh, Barakatay Yahweh Shai, Kol Halayim La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barakha Kodash, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world eagerly called Jesus Christ. Barakha Kodash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. It's the brother Matak. <laughs> it's the brother Matatia from the Great Millstone camp, the branch out in Des Moines. And um, we're just gonna get right into the lesson. You know, a lot of times brothers get caught up into speaking your own words, man, and we have to remember that um. We speak the words of Yahweh Shai, you know, of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. These are the words of the Heavenly Father that we must stick to. And, um, is it 3 and 15? This is a good one. This is, uh, 1 Peter 3 and 15. It's not the one I'm looking for, but it says, But sanctify the Lord power in your hearts. And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and in fear. So it says, be ready to give an answer. And how do you give an answer? You give an answer according to the scriptures. That's why the scripture says this. This is the book of Proverbs. Um, is it 15? So 15 and 29. 29 and 15. 28 proverbs 15 and 28 it says the heart of the righteous studieth to answer but the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil things so our answering is what according to the holy spirit is according to these words because they're asking us about the hope that's in us where, where, where does our hope lie within the scriptures so therefore the words that we're saying should be according to the scriptures um This is 1 Peter 4 and 11. It says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the heavenly father. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which the most high giveth, that the most high in all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shahamashiach, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. You see? So this is all to the glory of the heavenly father in the name of his only begotten son. So we must speak with his words. That's the. That's the key point about what he told Ezekiel. This is the book of Ezekiel. The third chapter. And I'll start at one. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest. Eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel. And the roll is talking about the book. So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll. And what is we eating? Matter of fact, we're going to prove it. We're going to prove it. Verse three. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat. And fill thy bowels with this roll that I that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. It says it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. Psalms 19 and 10. More to be desired are they. What is it talking about? Let's go up. This is uh, Psalms 19 and 9. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. So it's speaking about the words of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. This is the book of Psalms 119 and 103. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. You see? And of course, John said, this, uh, said, said let me slow down. John said the same thing in Revelation 10 and 10. And I took the little book, that's the same roll that Ezekiel ate, out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. So it goes into what, man? It goes into the scriptures. This is what we're eating. What did um, Jeremiah say? Jeremiah 15 and 16, thy words were found and I did eat them and thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart for I am called by thy name, O Lord, power of hosts. You see, so we're eating, we're studying this word, this knowledge 
in order to do what? Let's go back to Ezekiel 3, verse 4. And he said unto me, son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. Same thing the Lord uh, uh, told Jeremiah, Jeremiah 1, 17. Thou therefore gird up thy loins and arise and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I have found thee before them. So we're speaking the words of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. What did the Lord tell us in the book of Second Edges? This is the book of Second Edges, fifteen and one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So we're reading out of the uh, uh, out of the, the the paper. We're reading it out of the book. You see. So we must remember that when we're out there speaking, when we're out there teaching, that we have to prove all things. Let's get that. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles, as we read. This is um Philippians one and ten. Nope, this is not it. Salaki. This is uh first Thessalonians five and twenty one. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. You see? Prove all things. And we do that through what? By getting the scriptures. You understand? By getting the scriptures, because we're speaking the words of the Lord. This is Romans 3 and 1. What advantage then hath the Jew? Or what profit is there of circumcision? Much every way, chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of the Heavenly Father. The Most High had given his laws, his statutes, his judgments, his words unto us. So therefore we must speak these things. Verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid, yea. Let the most high be true, but every man a liar. You see, let the most high be true. It says, as it is written, that thou mightest be <clears throat> justified in thy sins and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So when we say these things, we can go back and prove it within the scriptures. So we're being justified in our sins because this is Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai word. You see, and this is how his prophets will be found faithful. This is the book of, uh, Sirach. Thirty six. And fourteen, it says, fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. Reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. You see, because we're speaking the words of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai and not our own heart, not our own thoughts. That's why the scripture says this. this is the book of Psalms 119. Remember, we, we have to remember this is the Lord's show, man. We might think we can bring up similar tools or analogies and try to get people to understand. But no, it is not more effective than getting the precepts. It's not more effective than the word of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. This is the book of Psalms 119 and 104. It says, through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. And that's just what it is. This is how we're going to be justified. You know, we got to make sure that we're speaking the oracles of the Heavenly Father. You see? Because we don't want to be found uh, saying something out of, out of whack, man, you know, because then we'll be found a liar. That's why it says, let the most high be true and every man a liar. So we're speaking the words of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. That's why the Lord gave us the blueprint. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, and let's start at 9. It says, whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? That's his teachings. Them that are weaned from the milk and draw from the breast, meaning we have to be born again, right? Desire the sincere milk of the word that we may grow thereby. This is how we were taught. We were taught by what? Verse 10, for precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. This is, this is how we were taught. This is how we were brought up. So in turn, we do the same thing. Verse 11, 
For with stammering lips in another tongue will he speak to this people, to whom he said, This is the rest wherewith, wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing, yet they would not hear. But the word of the Lord was unto them precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, that they might go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. You see why? Because there's no getting away, getting around the, 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 the words of Yahweh Basham Yahweh So they have no cloak now. Now, now they have no excuse. The word has been taught or, or the word has been preached. The word has been shown unto you. The Lord said, don't get no, don't print no marks on you. So you shouldn't be going out getting tattoos after you hear that scripture. You see, the Lord tell you not to eat swine or, or, or the Lord tell you uh, uh, to uh, uh, abstain from all uh, abomination. Homosexuality is a sin, right? It's written in the book of Romans, the first chapter, why people like to say that's Old Testament. But he also quoted in 1 Corinthians, the sixth, uh, the sixth chapter, when he said, they that do such things shall not inherit the, the kingdom of heaven. So these things are precept upon precept, right? So that they may fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. You know? So there's just an exhortation, man, to, to, to continue to... Uh, 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 that's why the scripture says this. Let me grab this real quick. What is that? Uh, First Timothy. Uh, let me just grab it. This is uh second Timothy two and fifteen. Study to show thyself approved unto the most high, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. When you get that word rightly, it's the Greek word orthotomeo, to cut straight, to proceed on straight paths, to make straight, to handle a right, to teach the truth directly and correctly. Straight out the scriptures, you know? And it says, study, give diligence. To put forth that work, man, so that we're speaking the 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 the, the, the words of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, you know, because he said he's going to do these things. But that's all I had to wadi Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. I give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Barachak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity. And verse sixteen. But shun profane and vain babbling, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. See? So that's why we stick to the scriptures. Shalom.